carjackings in Indianapolis are up more than 50% compared to last year. CBS 4's Courtney Spinelli shows you how you can protect yourself and your family from these crimes of opportunity. Since the start of the year, IMPD has responded to more than 230 carjackings across the Circle City. One of those happened just last week behind me here at the Shell gas station. You are harming somebody. You are taking something that doesn't belong to you to start with. There's been a more than 50% spike in carjackings across Marion County this year. And whether or not a weapon is even involved, oftentimes these crimes are still violent. You are creating trauma for somebody else and you're putting yourself in danger because you don't know who you're taking a vehicle from or you don't know what that person can do. Surveillance video shows the moment where a rideshare driver was allegedly carjacked at gunpoint on the east side December 1st. A police report shows the passengers asked that driver to stop at a gas station before stealing the car. Uh, we couldn't go up in there to get any gas or go any in, go on the inside or anything. Marie Bryant says she's lived in the area near where this happened for more than 20 years. She saw the aftermath of the scene last week. I think it was really sad. It's really, really scary out here nowadays. It really is. And as the winter months approach, police want to remind that it's not only carjackings you should take steps to prevent, but also car thefts. It just takes one second. Just one second to leave your car running as you go into your house or the store. It takes just but a moment uh, for you to sit in your car and look down at your phone and be so consumed into your phone. Uh, that somebody reaches and pulls your car door open. That's why IMPD reminds everyone to be aware of your surroundings and always lock your car. These are things and measures and steps that you take to prevent yourself from experiencing a carjacking. And these are also steps that you take to prevent your car being stolen while it's unoccupied. Reporting on the east side, Courtney Spinelli, CBS 4 News.